Hello everybody, this is JT Productions and welcome back to another preview and prediction video. Today I'll be doing the Arkansas State Red Ugh. Arkansas State Red Wolves. Add stain in the video. Anyways, last season Arkansas State went two and ten, one and seven in the Sun Belt for one of their worst seasons ever. In Butch Jones' first career season at Arkansas State. Yes, the Butch Jones that was at Tennessee from, I believe, 2013 to 2017. Oh, great times, great times. Anyways, Arkansas State, they, ooh, they had a terrible, ooh. They almost beat Tulsa. They almost beat Louisiana. They almost beat Georgia State, and they almost beat Texas State. They beat Louisiana Monroe, and then the rest, the other win, oh, they almost beat Memphis as well. So, the question is, in my notes, can Butch Jones elevate this roster like he did at Tennessee, or will his coaching lead to the talent underachieving? That is the great question, just like last year. So, what does the roster look like? Well, they still have James Blackman, who transferred there from Florida State a couple of years ago. They have some pieces on the offense. Jeff Foreman, a junior wide receiver. Hunt, a senior wide receiver. Regan Elia, a sophomore wide receiver. Their offensive line could use some work. Defensively, they have some seniors, juniors, so veteran defense. Can they get over the hump? Can they win? Can they make a bowl game? That's, that's all you can ask. So, let's, let's see how it goes. Well, week one, you get a pretty good tone-up game. You have Grambling State at home. I think you should win this game. This is just like you having a... Uh, this is just like you having a high school team coming to your stadium. You should beat this team very easily. Week two, you're on the road to Ohio State. You're losing that game. Ohio State's in about a totally different ballpark than you. You'll lose this game, and then you go back-to-back -back on the road again to Memphis, Tennessee to take on the Memphis Tigers. This, I don't think this is going to be a close game. Memphis would have learned from last year, in my opinion, and you're going to lose this game pretty badly, in my opinion. So you're 1-2 and two before you go on the road for a third road game in a row to play a... Um, to play a newcomer to the Sun Belt in Old Dominion. They're pretty, pretty good, well put, pretty well put together team. So, I don't know why, but I'm giving you a win here. I think Butch Jones is going to have his team fighting for a win. He's a Decent head coach, I'll give him that. He he should get his team up for games like this. And I think he I think Old Dominion overlooks Arkansas State. First year in the Sun Belt, not ready for this type of uh team. And Arkansas State gets their second win. So you're two and two before you play Louisiana Monroe on homecoming in Jonesboro. And since I gave you the win against Old Dominion, I'm going to give you a loss here. Louisiana Monroe gets revenge from last year in Monroe and takes a win right under Arkansas State's nose. This should be a close game, and I think Louisiana Monroe comes out with it. So you're 2-3 and three before you play another newcomer, James Madison, who comes from the FCS. You should deal with them easily. They're not equipped to compete in the Sun Belt just yet. So that's three and three. And you go on the road to Southern Miss. Southern Miss should outperform you, in my opinion. They have the horses, too. They have Frank Gore's son on the roster. He's a pretty good running back. And I think they're going to bludgeon you in Hattiesburg. 
three and four before you go back to back on the road again. What is with y'all and scheduling these back to back road games? On the road to Louisiana, and I think you lose this game. Louisiana, even though they're going to take a step back, they're still in a different ballpark than Arkansas State. Could be closer than people think, but I don't think you're getting a win here. So you're three and five before you play South Alabama. And I think you get the win there. South Alabama, they're in full on rebuild mode. So you go into your bye week four and five. Yeah, four and five. Before you take on one of the worst teams in the Power Five, UMass. This just feels like a game that Butch Jones would lose. That's why I'm giving you a loss here. Butch Jones, especially the last few years he was at Tennessee, was known for losing these types of games. Like, go back to 2016 when he lost to Vandy or when he lost to South Carolina. Or in 2017 when he almost lost to this UMass team. Lost to Vanderbilt as well. Lost to Kentucky. So on and so forth. This just seems like a game that Arkansas State under Butch Jones should lose. And this loss will take away all of the uh, all of the confidence from this team. You dropped a 4-6. and six. You go on the road to Texas State. I think that they take advantage of this uh, lost confidence that you have. You lose there, and then you face Troy at home, who I think is going to be hungry for a win to maybe even get bowl eligibility. So you're going to lose here as well. So there you have it. Arkansas State, 4-8, and eight, an improvement from last year, but Butch Jones is going to have to step up his coaching game if he wants to stay here long. So, anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Let me know in the comments what you would have done different with any of these. That's what I'm wanting to hear more of. So, I hope you all have a great day, and go dogs.